Blessed be God, the Creator, Jesus, our Liberator, and the Holy Spirit, the source of all mercy, and the God of all consolation. God comforts us in all our sorrows so that we can comfort others in their sorrows with the healing that we ourselves have received from God. For this we thank God, and you are invited to please join in as we sing of that blessed assurance. It's hymn number 369 in your blue hymnals, the United Methodist Hymnal. Amen. You may be seated. Hmm? 
Buenos dias. Good, good morning. Welcome to the First United Methodist Church of Germantown. Good morning. Welcome to the First United Methodist Church of Germantown, also known as FUNCAG. My name is Gabe Lopez, and I am one of the pastors here. And it is my honor to welcome you to the memorial service of Monette L. Sudler. During today's service, you will hear stories, hymns, and instruments that will inevitably take you to many other memories and make you feel many emotions. I humbly invite you to welcome all that you are feeling this morning. May you mourn if you need to mourn, laugh if you need to laugh. May this be a safe space for whatever it is that you need as we collectively remember and celebrate Monette's life. And finally, may today's service be a reminder that even in the darkest valley, in the moments of deepest grief, you are not alone. The peace of God come for you and always be with you. Let us pray. Your love, O oh God, knows no bounds. Even the bounds of death 
your love transcends. And so we give you thanks this morning for your love, for the love shared here between the family and friends of your child, Monette, a human being made in your image and likeness who now rests eternally with you and in the presence of all the saints of light. And we ask that your Holy Spirit be upon all of the family, friends of Munat Sudler. May you comfort them. May you walk with them. May you remind them that they are not alone. And we remember your words now when you said, Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Comfort us now this morning. We pray all these things in the name of the God who is love, in the name of the God who walks with us, who has promised to never abandon us. We pray these things in your loving name. Amen. At this time, I would like to invite Kathy Suttler up for the reading of our psalm that will be followed by a dance poetry musical selection. Good morning, family. Psalm 30. I will extol you, O Lord, for you have drawn me up and did not let my foes rejoice over me. O Lord my God, I cried to you for help, and you have healed me. O Lord, you brought me up, you brought up my soul from Sheol, restored me to life from among those gone down to the pit. Sing praises to the Lord, O you his faithful ones and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger is but for a moment, his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may linger for the night, but joy comes with the morning. As for me, I said in my prosperity, I shall never be moved. By the favor, O oh Lord, you had established me as a strong mountain. You hid your face, I was dismayed. To you, O oh Lord, I cried. And to the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my death if I go to the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it tell of your faithfulness? Hear, O oh Lord, and be gracious to me. O oh Lord, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing. You have taken off my sackcloth cloth, and clothed me with joy, so that my soul may praise you and not be silent. O oh Lord, my God, I will give thanks to you forever. Amen. Good afternoon. A couple of weeks ago, Monette asked for song, dance, music, and a poem. So I'm going to do the poem. For Monette. The poem starts with a quote by Toni Morrison from Beloved, and the quote is, she is a friend of my mind. She gather me. The pieces I am, she gather them and give them back to me in all the right order. This poem is from my friend, my sister, Monette. She gathered me. 
She saw all the pieces of me and never made me feel scattered. She held each tender part to the light, turning and examining, then spoke sweet magic incantations, words that sisters need to hear from each other, words like, you're good sister, you're good. Ritual. I read each new poem to her twice, raw sloppy things I called her at 7 a.m. to spill in her ears. Ritual. She sang her newly birthed songs to me over the phone, guitar and melodies jockeying for space over Sprint and Verizon. I heard her nervous breath and pauses on the line at our age, coming to each other like pupils, but in a school where teachers were kind souls and only love was inscribed on everything. My sister Monette was a sanctuary. When she grabbed hold of her guitar, she made church. It was a baptism and laying on of hands. There was a sermon in her fingers. Her playing was some kind of sacred oration, some kind of praise making in worship houses, some kind of religion we all wanted to belong to, wanted to run up to the altar, kneel and genuflect to, wanted to follow ushers, dip and sway and swing our arms to. My sister Manette was a trinity, mama, musician, and a whole movement. A sweet, sweet spirit she was. A sweet, sweet spirit she is. We gathered us, scattered, tender, and needing light, and only saw magic, and only spoke sweet incantations, words us sisters needed to hear. You're good, my sister Monette. You're good. Thank you.
Thank you, Diane, Trapita, and Jermaine. And thank you, Monette, for asking them to be in this service. Amen, amen. Please remember to keep your mask and to silence your phones. Uh, we want to make sure everyone stays safe during this celebration of life. We've had many people come to us and wanting to share words about Monette, and it was really hard to limit it to just a few. At this time, I'd like to invite Latanya and Webb to come up to share some memories of Monette. Okay, so I'm already out of order here. All right. We are next going to have a scripture reading by Denise Spaulding. Denise? I'm going to do a reading from Romans 8. What then are we to say about these things? If God is for us, who is against us? He who did not withhold his own son, but gave him up for all of us, will he not with him also give us everything else? Who will bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is to condemn? It is Christ Jesus who died, yes, who is raised, who is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will hardship, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, for your sake we are being killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Good afternoon. On such a solemn occasion, I remember uh, calling on net to just kind of check in on her and uh, asking her, what does she need? Monette, who do you need? I can get to you. And she said, I want you to sing up above my head. I didn't want to accept what she was saying to me, but I got the message and I understood. So this is for you, Monette, up above my head. Up above my head, I hear music in the air. Up above my head, I hear music in the air. I really do believe. I really do believe. I, I, I really do believe that. Yeah. 
There's a God somewhere Ooh, up above my head. I hear music in the air. Oh, up above my head. I hear music in the air. Ooh, up above my head. Yeah, I hear music in the air. I really do believe. I really I believe there's a heaven somewhere. Hey, yeah. I do believe. I do believe there's a God somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I do believe. I do believe. Yeah, yeah. There's a God somewhere. I do believe. I do believe there's a God somewhere. I do believe he's up there somewhere, yeah. Oh, I'm above my head, yeah. I hear music everywhere I go. Oh, I'm above my head, yeah. I hear music everywhere. Oh, yeah. up above my head. Ooh. I hear music everywhere. I really do believe there's a God somewhere. Hey, yeah, oh, above my head, yeah. I hear music, I hear music everywhere. Up above my head, I hear music all in the head. Up above my head, I hear music everywhere. I really do believe, I really do believe that God is somewhere. I said, I really do believe, I really do believe that God is somewhere. I really do believe, I really do believe. beautiful thank you and now we will have some words of reflection from Latanya and Webb followed by a resolution good morning Manette and I worked together for many years and I am very sad for this occasion but glad that I get to be a part of celebrating her life. I first met Minette as a fellow teaching artist at the Art Sanctuary North Stars After School program. There, Minette taught young people the art and appreciation of music. She upheld a standard of excellence while supporting our students, student artists to create original music that spoke their language and highlighted the challenges and triumphs of young black Philadelphians. I later worked side by side with my net and I do literally mean side by side. Our office was a converted closet um, at Martha Washington Elementary School in West Philly. Here, Manette supported school administrators and families who sought help for some of Philadelphia's most challenged school district students. And even though these children we work with had intense behavioral issues, they knew that in Miss Manette, they would find care, support, and a little tough love when they needed it. She always demonstrated a heart for children and a creative approach to all of the challenging situations we faced. 
So on behalf of my Nets colleagues and fellow teaching artists, we appreciate you, we'll miss you, and we'll see you soon. Thank you. Good afternoon, family and friends. Um, this is uh, pretty hard for me. But my net was like a sister to me. I knew of her music since 1976 or so. And, uh, I went away to school during that time, up to Berkeley College of Music. So of course I was boasting about my hometown Shiro of the guitar. I wanted to make sure everybody knew about mine at Sutler. So I, I, you know, I finished my time in Boston and came back home. And um, my sister introduced me to mine at I think they were roommates at one time. So, uh, my dad was playing at Winston's House of Jazz, and I wanted to go hear her play. And of course, I sat in with the band. And uh, I think a week or so after that, she called me to start performing with her. So, that started my beginning. You know, my dad put me on the map. There would be no web times if it wasn't for my Nat Sutler. Yeah, her legacy, you know, the CDs, the music that she put out, you know. I had the privilege of recording with her on three of those projects. And most recently, the, the, the last project she did. Uh, about a year ago. And as frail as she was, as frail as she was, she really did a great thing. Love, peace, and everlasting. She was so special, special to a lot of folks, a lot of musicians. And one more real, real quick thing I want to say, because I don't think I can hold it together here. i never forget the concert we did, and Eric was about five years old, and he has a little guitar. And he's on the bandstand with us, you know. Thank you, family. Thank you, Monette. Thank you, Eric Lamar. It's a big void left in the jazz community here in Philadelphia. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Yolanda Wisher, and I have the honor of reading a resolution for Manette from the Senate of Pennsylvania. Whereas the Senate of Pennsylvania mourns the loss of Manette Sudler Honesty, who passed away on August 21st, 2022, at the age of 70. And whereas a native of Philadelphia, Ms. Sudler Honesty was born on June 5, 1952. A musician from a young age, she studied the piano and the guitar and earned a degree from the Boyer College of Music and Dance at Temple University. 
Ms. Sudler Honesty began her 50-year career in music with the free funk group Sounds of Liberation and later collaborated with numerous artists, including the Sam Rivers Big Band, drummer Sonny Murray, saxophonist David Murray, and trumpeter Hugh Masekela. Known for her clean tone and rhythmically asserted phrasing across many styles and genres of music, she also released several albums on which she was the lead, such as Time for a Change, Brighter Days for You, and Stay Strong. And whereas the founder of the Philadelphia Guitar Summit, which she oversaw for nearly a decade, Ms. Sudler Honesty was deeply involved in music education and in a range of interdisciplinary work including the album, This Is How We Get Through, and the play, Making a Scene, that she released with former Philadelphia Poet Laureate, Trapita B. Mason. She is also lauded as a composer, singer, and mentor to others in the Philadelphia music community, and her achievements as a woman in jazz were recently acknowledged by Mutual Mentorship for Musicians, which commissioned her to present new work for its inaugural M3 Festival. Additionally, Ms. Sudler Honesty was honored by the Ars Nova Mute Workshop for her many contributions to Philadelphia's jazz and experimental music legacy and received a 2022 Pew Fellowship from the Pew Center for Arts and Heritage. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Senate of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania note with great sadness the passing of Manette Sudler Honesty whose life greatly benefited all those who lived, served, and worked with her, and extend heartfelt condolences to her sons, Eric Honesty and Lamar Honesty, brothers Dwayne Sudler and Truman Sudler, Jr., three grandchildren, and many other family members, colleagues, and friends. And be it further resolved that a copy of this document, sponsored by Senator Vincent J. Hughes, be transmitted to the family of Monette Sudler Honesty. Thank you. Check, check. Good morning. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. God put us here to praise him. And he put people here in our families and friends that we don't have to walk alone. I thank God that he put Monette Sutler in my life so I don't have to walk alone. God bless you, Monette.
Kasumi Tanukuya, Lee Smith. Lee Smith, y'all. Nasir on the drums. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, Pharaoh. I'll be God drowned. Hey, Mary, don't you weep. I said, Moon, Mary, don't you weep. Don't you moan. No, Mary, don't you weep. Don't you moan, Pharaoh. Army got drowned in the Red Sea. Oh, Mary, don't you weep. I said, uh, if I could, I surely would. If I could, I surely would. Stand up on the rock when Moses stood. Oh, Mary, don't you weep. Oh, oh, oh. Hush now, Mary, don't you weep. Oh, I said, Hush, don't you cry, fear yeah, don't weep. I said, I fear the rules on me got drowned. Yes, they did. Hey, Mary, don't you weep. Oh, 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 oh. Mary, don't you weep. No, oh, don't you mourn. I, I tell you, I'm going to be here for you. I said, Pharaoh's on me got drowned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, put your trust in me. Come on, put your trust in me, Mary. I got your back. Don't you dare cry. Pharaoh's army, Pharaoh's army got drowned. Oh, Mary, don't you weep. I, I say, oh, oh, don't, oh, don't you cry. Oh, oh, let me hold your bow. I say, Pharaoh's army got drowned. Oh, Mary, don't you weep. I said, Lazarus, come forth. Lazarus, Lazarus, come forth. Can I call him? Can I call him? Can I call him? Lazarus, come forth. Mary and Martha, don't you weep. Don't you moan. Oh no, don't you weep, don't you moan Pharaoh's army, they got drowned Hey, Mary, hey, hey, yeah Oh, 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 oh Mary, don't cry Could you see what I did? I put miracles and wonders in front of you So, don't you Think that I'm gonna leave you? No, Pharaoh's army, they got around in the Red Sea. See, oh, Mary, don't, don't you weep, don't you moan, don't you weep, don't you cry, don't you weep, don't you moan. Rose Omega Rhyme, yeah. Oh, Mary, don't you weep? Oh, oh, I said, Rose Army, they got drowned in the Red Sea. 
Oh, 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 Mary, don't you weep. Yeah, for the Rose Army, they got you round in the Red Sea. Oh, 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 Mary, don't you, 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 Amen. 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 Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Jesus. This next part can be really difficult. We have some family members who are going to speak some words, and um, we know it could be really hard for some of you, so it's open. Uh, we have invited Eric and Dwayne and Pamela to come up and share some words for the family. Morning. I met my net approximately seven years ago. See, that was when my daughter, Chanel, asked me to meet at Madiano's so that I could meet her boyfriend's mom. My net and I instantly connected because we had so much in common. We both loved all genres of music. We both had sons named Lamar. And we both were allergic to seafood. That was just to name a few. And at some point, um, to make conversations easier, it was decided that we would call my son Lamar and my net son Shango. That was his middle name. That is his middle name. And as time went on, we had even more in common because Shango and Chanel gave birth to Nori Monet, Honesty, about six years ago, and Zari Monet, Honesty, five, like over five years ago, five and some months. Monet was so unique in so many ways. Um, Monet and Charnel, they agreed that uh, Charnel would call her Mama Shango, and the grandkids would call her Gogo. Nuri and Zari, I'm telling y'all, they love <laughs> saying her name. It was go, go this, go, go that. And, and, um, and every time I happened to call the grands when my net was at the house, they would scream as if they had won the lottery. Go, go is here. I was happy for them because I knew what a great time they were guaranteed to have. I considered my net a a perfect mix between old school and new school grandma. She, 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 um, she watched the honesty TikToks, honesty kids TikToks, and, um, but she let Chongo know that, you know, she didn't like the makeup that they had on. But that was just a filter. They weren't wearing makeup. And about uh, two years ago, we decided to get uh, black Converse sneakers. Manette got hers and took pictures with Nori and Zari. I'm telling you, she was cool like that. <laughs> um, there's a picture in the program uh, with my net, Nori, and Zari. You can see that there um, on a step. Um, 
A few years ago, uh, my net was informed uh, that she was getting a fourth grandchild. Chanel and Shango, uh, they told my net of possible names for this child uh, that my net knew was going to be a girl. Let me tell you, when I, what I've come to know about my net was that uh, if she didn't like something, she would let you know. There was no faking. My, my net didn't care for certain names. But my net gave her total approval to the name Lyric Honesty. And during her last weeks, she told everyone that she wanted to see her new granddaughter. But uh, God loved her best, y'all, and made heaven her home. I believe I experienced the wonder of her musical talent when we decided that she would play the guitar and I would sing at Chango's and Charnel's wedding. We decided on Luther's Vrandro's uh, version of Evergreen. Uh, she, I'm she was ready to pull that guitar out right then and there. But I told her, no, 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 I need practice. Uh, she was the Iverson, not me, okay? So um, who the world has come to know as, this gr as a great guitarist, I have been blessed, y'all. I have been blessed to know her as a great matriarch. In closing, um, I just want to publicly say, thank you, my net. Thank you for Uncle, uh, Uncle Eric, Nuri Zanzari's uncle. Thank you, my net, for your son, Shango, who is such a great husband and great father. <laughs> if y'all only knew, I'll tell you stories. <laughs> he does it all. Um, thank you, my net for loving my daughter as if you've birthed her. And thank you, Monette, for being an awesome, that word, that's the word she used for our grands all the time. Aren't they awesome, fam? Aren't they awesome? <laughs> no, you were awesome. Being an awesome grandmother to Nori, Zari, and little Eric. And um, as in the title of Monette's last CD that I love, I just want to say to the family and all, to all of you, uh, stay strong. Stay strong. I mean, I'm still getting used to these things. This is very hard. When I was in the hospital, my, I mean, my, net, my life coach, she got me through two operations, six strokes, three heart attacks. So we fully missed. Dearly, bye everyone. Sorry, I wish I could say more. more. Obviously, I'm not Eric Honesty. <laughs> I'm standing up here for him. Be 
because as Violet said, this is difficult. So I just, first I have to say, before I say anything about the Monette that we all know and love, that the family of Monette Honesty would like to thank Trapita Mason, her friend. Her friend who walked the boys through this season of sorrow with such grace. And we're so grateful to you to know that they were in such good hands. And we want you to know that. But I've thought much about Monette. I've, I'm her sister-in-law, and, and that just sounds so wrong. Because when I married her brother, I got a sister. There was no in-law in there. And I kept thinking, what would I say, you know? So many artists have a persona about them. But Monette had a personness about her. She was her. Everything that you saw on the stage and you heard in her music and you heard in the words that she would write, she shared with us her family. She wasn't somebody else with you and somebody different with us. We are grateful for the body of strength that she got from the jazz community in Philadelphia. And I remember during her season of waiting for her lungs when she needed a double lung transplant, half of her courage came from you because you were there for her and you were encouraging her. So we just want to thank you for the way you loved her. And I just want to say to the boys, and I said this before and I'm going to say it again, I see your mom all over you. Her fingerprints are all over who you are. You represent her so wonderfully. And I just love you, I love you so much. And you're just, I don't know, those grandkids, I don't know. <laughs> I, I know the TikTok videos that she was talking about, they're pretty crazy. But we just thank you. And we just want you to know that we rejoice that we had an opportunity to be loved by her and to love her. And I guess if you want to do anything in her memory, go out there and love somebody. And let them know it. You know, extend grace to somebody because she always extended grace to us. Be gentle with somebody because she was always so gentle with us. So we're just really grateful. And we want to say thank you for coming to show your love and to show your support. This was another song that Monette requested. She and I would laugh a lot because we're both Geminis. And uh, I know it's kind of scary, right? But uh, we talked about music. We talked about how difficult it can be being a woman band leader with gentlemen who are accustomed to leading the music all of the time. We had some issues with these guys sometimes. But uh, we would talk to them and they would help us and we would help them get through. So this was a song that she requested because we both love Gregory Porter. And uh, Monette, you know I didn't know the song, but I got into it and I really dug the song. So Monette, this is for you. Way. He broke his wing, 
I helped him heal And then he flew away Well, the death of love is standing here But I won't let it be There will be no love Dying here for me There will be no love Dying here The mirror that fell from the wall Was raggedy most of all It rested upon a rusty nail Before it made its fall Well the bones of love are everywhere But I won't let it be There will be no doubt I love dying here for me There will be no love dying here Poor flowers in my aching days Not a sun within I paid for three A sweet old lady gave me four instead Oh, but I won't know what love's about And I won't let it be yeah. There will be no love dying here for me Sumi Chinooka on keyboards is called The Reading of a Life Story. 
And of course, you know, it will be impossible to tell all of Monette's life story in just a few minutes. But I'd like to invite Beth to come up and read a part of Monette's life story. Good morning, afternoon. Monette passed away on the morning of Sunday, August 21st, 2022. She died peacefully at her home in the Germantown section of Philadelphia, following a long and valiant bout with cancer. Her battles with other serious medical conditions in recent years, always with grace and remarkable humor, demonstrated her courage in facing life's challenges with hope and determination. She was surrounded by friends and family as she approached the end, listening to and playing music, lighting up the room with her quirky jokes and infectious laugh, and enjoying some West Indian cuisine made specially for her. Manette's love of music and people was a constant force in forging her ever-expanding circle of collaborators, family, and friends. Monette was born Monette Goldstein on June 5, 1952, in Ridley Park, Pennsylvania. Her family settled in North Philadelphia when Monette was a young girl. She studied piano from the age of eight and started playing guitar at 15. By the time she was 19, she was playing with Sounds of Liberation, a seven-member band from her Germantown neighborhood that had a distinctive, eclectic sound and powerful social and spiritual message. She attended Germantown High School and after graduation studied at Berkeley College of Music in Boston. She earned a BA degree from Temple University's Boyer College of Music and Dance. Monette married Kenzel Honesty in the 70s and with the birth of her two sons, described as the loves of her life, she balanced motherhood with her demanding professional and artistic careers. In addition to her music career, Monette was an educator and teaching artist at several schools and institutions, and counselor to children in therapeutic programs in the Philadelphia public school system. She spent several years teaching music to young people at the Philadelphia Cleft Club and with the North Stars After School Program through Art Sanctuary. Monette loved attending concerts and shows. One of her last shows she attended before the pandemic closures was, was headlined by one of her favorite artists, Gregory Porter. She was a great cook who made a mean mac and cheese dish that was highly sought after by family and friends. Classy, stylish, and creative, Monette was a caring mother, wonderful friend, and generous artist. Monette loved to travel. Her destinations included cities in Europe and Japan and locations in Jamaica, Canada, and South Africa. Even as she spread her music across continents, she made a beautiful and comfortable home for herself and her family and her hometown of Philadelphia. As a jazz guitarist, composer, vocalist, and band leader in a highly male-dominated field, Monette was not only a trailblazer in her own right, she also demonstrated unwavering commitment to expanding opportunities for women in the jazz field. She was the first woman to found and organize an international guitar summit an event that she ran for a decade and where she punctured gender barriers and drew connections among multiple traditions, styles, and genres of music. She collaborated with a vast array of musicians and performed and recorded with local poets, including former Philly Poet Laureate Trapita Mason and me. Through her career, she shared her love of Philly's great jazz legacy with young people and even in her final months, mentored young female jazz instrumentalists through the Mutual Mentorship for Musicians program. 
Manette leaves behind a half century of music and artistic collaborations she was creating until almost the end of her life. Appropriately, her final album released in the fall of 2021 was entitled Stay Strong and contained original songs of spiritual uplift and social consciousness. In May 2022, she was honored by Ars Nova Workshop for her many contributions to Philadelphia's jazz and experimental music legacy. And just weeks before her passing, she was recognized by the Pew Center for Arts and Heritage with a 2022 Pew Fellowship. Minette is survived by her two sons, William Eric Honesty and Lamar Honesty, two brothers, Truman Sudler and Dwayne Sudler, three grandchildren, women, William Eric Honesty II, Nori Monette Honesty, and Ziri Monet Honesty, a maternal aunt, Marlene Robinson, and other family, as well as extensive and diverse community of friends collaborators, students, and fans. She was preceded in death by her mother, Leah Goldstein, and her brother, Warren Sudler. Weeping may last for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. These words from Psalm 30 are words of thanksgiving, believed to be written by David upon the building of his home, the royal palace. When a home was built, it was the custom to dedicate the house and to ask for God's blessing and protection much like what we do today with a house blessing when someone from my congregation moves from years of living on the street and into permanent housing. For those of you who don't know me, I am the pastor of the Welcome Church, a church without walls where I have the privilege of walking with folks who are unhoused and living on the streets of Philadelphia. On the street, night is a time of danger and loneliness. It is not a time of rest. Often folks will pair up with another to share a spot in a doorway or under a bridge so that while one sleeps, the other will keep watch. If not, there's the risk of losing everything from the shoes on their feet to their precious identification. On the street, night is a time of vulnerability with a greater risk of assault. It's also a time when access to the many things we take for granted, like warmth in the winter or cool air in the summer, or even something as simple as a bathroom just isn't there. One woman I know living on the street shared that she didn't drink anything after five o'clock in the afternoon for fear of needing a bathroom during the night and possibly risking arrest if caught relieving herself in public. Night is a time of danger and loneliness, a time of vulnerability, and for many, whether housed or unhoused, the night is a time of sadness and weeping. Weeping may last for a night, says David, but joy will come in the morning. I know that for many of us here today, it is still the night. Even though morning has not yet broken, we come together to celebrate the life of Monette and the joy that she has brought to so many. We hold the two together, even as Monette did so well, and especially in those last weeks of her life. 
My last visit with Manette was at Temple Hospital, and it turned out to be a very good day. It was a joyous day, in spite of the sadness that Monette carried in knowing that she would soon be leaving the people she loved. Monette didn't have to wait for the heavenly angels to hear the playing of the harp, because that morning, two earthly angels brought a harp and sang to her at her bedside. I watched as Monette also enjoyed the hospital lunch that day, which really worried me. And then she went on to share about the good food that another friend, Marcy, had brought her. And then after that, she savored the takeout that her sons had brought her. We listened to her music in between the many phone calls she took and the TikTok videos she shared with me of her grandchildren. Eric, Lamar, Chirpita, even a good friend who drove up all the way from Atlanta to see her, surrounded her that day. It was a very good day, and Monette was blanketed in all the love that she so freely gave. A little more than a week later, Chirpita called me with the news of Monette's early morning passing. Weeping may last for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. The morning of joy had come for Monette. One of the many traditions that the Welcome Church has on the street is to give out this cross that I'm wearing today. This cross was especially designed for people to hold during the long nights as a reminder that we are always connected to God and to one another in community. Now these crosses can't be bought and the tradition has been that if someone sees me wearing the cross and ask for it, I am to give them the cross from around my neck and place it on them with a blessing. Others on the street do the same thing, and they bless one another with these crosses. You can see these crosses in Philadelphia, but also all around the country. They are signs of connection, but also identification. Hospitals have called me when someone has been admitted, whether conscious or not, wearing this cross. And this cross even saved one man's life because he was stabbed one afternoon and the cross got in the way with the knife missing his heart by a fraction of an inch. So for me, this cross is a symbol of the love and grace and liberation that Jesus offers to each one of us. But in my community, many interpret it in different ways. One Jewish woman in our community wears it as a symbol of the God who dances. The meanings are as expansive as the God it is meant to represent. So on the morning of Monette's death, I went to the house to see her and to be with the family before she was taken away. I brought the cross that I had been wearing that day, and I placed it on her as we said some final prayers. I wanted somehow to let Monette know that even in death, she would not be alone. Today I brought one for Eric and Lamar so that you might know the same thing, that love can't ever go away and that we are each surrounded by love that joins us to the divine and to one another always. This is the love supreme about which John Coltrane wrote even as he was struggling on that long, lonely night to fight his own demons. 
And this is what Paul meant in his very powerful letter to the Romans when he said, I'm convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth. And then on the street, everybody fills in their own words. You fill in your words. Not addiction, not homelessness, not anxiety, not depression. Nothing, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate you from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Not even religion. Nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. And that's the love that keeps on connecting us over and over. The ancient Persian poet Rumi said, we are all just walking each other home. And I believe it. I'd like to leave you with a song from South Africa. It's a simple call and response song that I learned last week at a world hunger meeting. I learned that this song was sung when someone was being taken off to prison fighting apartheid. The song was sung by the community so that the person knew they would not be alone. The words is simple. It's courage, my friend. You do not walk alone. We will walk with you and sing and sing your spirit home. I have asked our friend Sharon Katz who many of you know, she is South African and creator of the Peace Train. I've asked Sharon to come up and lead us in this song because I think now it's time for us to sing Monet Home, but also to sing one another in our grief and in our joy. So please join us in this call and response. Good afternoon. Love and strength to our beloved Monette, her family and friends. Courage, courage, my friend, my friend. You do not walk alone. We will, we will walk with you, walk with you and sing your spirit home. Courage, courage, my friend, my friend, you do not walk alone. We will, we will walk with you, walk with you and sing your spirit home. Courage, courage, my friend, my friend, you do not walk alone. We will, we will walk with you, walk with you and sing your spirit home. part of the service is called the commendation and it is the part 
where we take our beloved Monette and we gently place her into the hands of Jesus. So you are invited to stand. Into your hands, O merciful Savior, we commend Monette. Acknowledge, we humbly pray, Monette as a sheep of your own fold, a lamb of your own flock, a sinner of your own redeeming. Receive her into the arms of your mercy, into the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and into the glorious company of the saints in light. And together we say, Amen and Amen. Amen. Just a quick announcement. Everyone is invited to a repast immediately following this service. It will be at the Clifton House. The address is on, in your uh, program. It's the 6400 of Germantown Avenue, just a few blocks away. And our final hymn, and I hope I can hear everyone singing it, is I'll Fly Away. You can find it in the book, The Faith We Sing in your pews, and it's number 2282. Two, gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and grant you peace. Amen and amen. I'd like those who are um, pallbearers to please come forward.